Assalamualaikum and good day to Madam JS Nur Shafika Muhammad Sofian, APTPR Dr. Ahmad Fasal Alias and Mr. Muhammad Rijal Muhammad. My name is Nur Ashifa Ajara Miti Mahayudin from class AP 1112B. First and foremost, I want to thank to my beloved lecturer for guiding me throughout this project. Okay, now I'm going to start the presentation about designing residential neighborhood concept plan individual. This is table of content. There are have introduction, goals and objective, potential and constraints plan, developable land or land suitability, calculation of land use distributions, the concept or themes for alternative one and two, the design process or stage for alternative one, the design process or stage for alternative two, metric table, and conclusion. Introduction. In this project, students are required to design a residential neighborhood concept plan and produce the alternative conceptual plan and justification for the chosen alternative concept. Students are encouraged to produce the innovative design concept and unique residential layout based on design and planning principle as well as the housing guideline and planning standard. The aim is designed to provide an understanding the skill of formulating and developing residential neighborhood concept based on the start analysis in Project 2. The objectives are to study the potential and constraints of the plan, to distribute the suitability of land use development, to count out the neighborhood conceptual plan based on the specific theme, to establish a preliminary framework portraying the distribution and arrangement of the land use elements in residential neighborhood, and to choose the best conceptual plan on the desired residential neighborhood. Potential and Constraints Plan There are three points for potential and two points for constraints. For potential, the potential on the site has been observed. The site is suitable for the development especially for the residential area and commercial area near the residential. The site are suitable for recreational park water tank, electric substation, and sewage for residential. The proper accessibility on the site can build more road and access the residential place and the facilities area. For constraints, the cost will increase because it will start from the basic development. All the habitat at the site will be threatened with the development. Developable land or land suitability. The site are suitable for all type of development. It can be used as residential area, public facilities, commercial, infrastructure, and open space. The size of this area is 50 hectare and the percentage of the area that can be used is 100%. Neighborhood hierarchy. In my opinion, for two neighborhood units with three sub neighborhood units each can fill the 50 hectare of the site area perfectly. Now we proceed to types of land use. For housing, we use 30 hectare which means 60% of the total land. For commercial, we use 0.23 hectare which means 0.46% of the total land. For public facilities, we use 1.14 hectare, which means 2.28% of the total land. For infrastructure and utility, we use 1.1 hectare, which means 2.2% of the total land. Open space, we use 5 hectare, which means 10% of the total land. Road, we use 12.55 hectare which means 25.1% of the total land. So, the total area of the land use is 50 hectare and the percentage is 100%. Next, we're going to calculation of housing. First of all, there are many types of housing such as low-cost terrace house. 
Percentage for low cost terrace house is 10%, which takes 3 hectares from the total area and can place 590 of the population. Percentage for medium low cost terrace house is 30%, which takes 9 hectares from the total area and can place 1,555 of the population. Percentage for affordable house is 20%, which takes 6 hectares from the total area and can place 890 of the population. Percentage for semi detached house is 20%, which takes 6 hectares from the total area and can place 590 of the population. Percentage for detached house is 20%, which takes 6 hectares from the total area and can place 590 of the population. So, the population of housing are 4,215 which means 30 hectare for housing. Next, for commercial, the main use for commercial is shop house. The total units of the wall house is 843 units which means 1 unit equal 40 house or 200 residents. So, 21 units of shop house to be developed. For commercial, we use 0 0.23 hectare which means 0.46%. Public facilities at the site area include surau, community hall and kindergarten. For surau, we will build 2 units equal 1,600 congregation and the lot size is 0 0.2 hectare for 2 units requirements. For community hall, we will build category B, community hall, maximum 10,000 population and the lot size is 0 0.8 hectare for 1 unit requirements. And kindergarten, we will build 1 unit equal 2,500 population and the lot size is 0 0.14 hectare for one unit requirements. So for public facilities, we use 1.14 hectare, which means 2.28%. For infrastructure and utility, consists of electric substation, water tank, and sewage treatment plant. For electric substation, we will build Eight size single chamber of electric substation for 843 units house. So for electric substation, we use 0 0.17 hectare which means 0.34%. For water tank, we use 36 meter times 81 meter size equal 933,000 and 900 liter. This is because it can accommodate low cost housing, medium cost housing, affordable house, semi detached house, detached house, and shop house. So for water tank, we use 0 0.29 hectare for land. For sewage treatment plant, we choose class 2 equal 1,100 until 5,000 population and the lot size 0 0.112 until 0 0.308 hectare for 2 unit STP to be developed. So, for infrastructure and utility, we use 1.1 hectare which means 2.2% for land use. Next, we proceed to open space. We have three types of open space, which are playground, lot playground, and green area. Percentage for lot playground and playground are 7%, which take for lot playground is 1.7 hectare, multiplication 6 unit. For playground, 1.8 hectare, multiplication 2 unit. Percentage for green area is 3%, which take 1.5 hectare. So, for open space, we use 
five hectare, which means ten percent. Okay, for neighborhood concept plan, I choose clearance stain and Henry Wright concept. This is because my neighborhood concept is an inspired idea of clearance stain and Henry Wright, exemplified in their plan for Redburn and neighborhood unit idea of clearance Perry were published in 1929. The urban design principle of Stain and Wright included the idea of super block of residential units grouped around a central green, the separation of vehicles and pedestrian, and a road hierarchy with cool de sac for local access roads. A cluster of super blocks was to form a self-contained neighborhood. A group of neighborhood would then comprise the city. For Perry, the physical arrangement of the elementary school, small park and playground, and local shop was the basis of his neighborhood idea. Each neighborhood was to be a unit of the city. And from this concept, I choose alternative 1, green neighborhood, and alternative 2, smart sustainable neighborhood. For strategic development of neighborhood, we should consider liveability, community vitality, and resource productivity, which focus on social sustainability, environmental sustainability, and economic sustainability. Alternative 1. Green Neighborhood Green Neighborhood is defined as an integrated plan with priority given to the protection and use of natural resources. Application of green technology, green and recycling practice which aim to preserve the environment, improving public health, safety and general welfare of the inhabitants. It is a neighborhood unit that has a variety of green consumption and has medium density including variety range of use designed for priorities pedestrian walk which covers sidewalks and congested roads. The aim of green neighborhood is to study the application of green neighborhood design in housing development. The objectives are to study the workability and connectivity in neighborhood area, to study the application of safe neighborhood concept in neighborhood area, to identify the provision of public open space in neighborhood area, to identify the availability of green network in neighborhood area, to identify the provision of green infrastructure and neighbor in neighborhood area. Principle of Green Neighborhood Principle 1. Housing Each green neighborhood provides a variety of lot size and housing types of cater for the diverse housing needs of the community at densities which can ultimately support the provision of local service. Principle 2. Commercial Each green neighborhood offers a variety of homes for shop house, community and recreational facilities to the people to carry out daily activities. Principle 3. Public facilities Each green neighborhood provides network walkway, comprehensive and sustainable should be made available from residential to public facilities. Principle 4. Infrastructure and Utility Each green neighborhood apply of green technology in building construction and infrastructure facilities preparation or building constructed to meet the requirements and are encouraged to seek certification green building index or GBI or the, or the building rating system. Principle 5. Road Each neighborhood optimize use of land and provide an interconnected network of street which facilitates safe, efficient and pleasant walking, cycling and driving. Principle 6. Open space. Green network systems starting at the front of the housing so the planting of trees along the roadsides and extensive network of green space such as parks and public space. For concept of green neighborhood plan, there are have medium cost terrace house, green area, two surau, 21 shop house, detached house, 
satu sewage treatment plant, two playground, affordable house, one kindergarten, one water tank, semi-detached house, six lot playground, low cost terrace house, one community hall and eight electric substation. There are two types of road. Four main road, 66 feet, for front street housing, 40 feet. Water tank are usually located in high area. STP are usually located in flat area. Focal point is located between the surau, community hall and low cost terrace house. This picture are the example of infrastructure and utility like electric substation. The example of open space like lot playground. The example of commercial like shop house. The example of housing like semi-detached house. The example of public facilities like community hall. Alternative 2. Smart Sustainable Neighborhood Smart Sustainable Neighborhood is designed to use a minimum amount of energy by building high performance. Connected homes equipped with the latest innovation in technology. Neighborhoods is a subjective term which refer few blocks around neighboring houses or buildings. It includes a small area containing block and few hundred residents with some basic amenities. It is a place with its own unique character and function, where people can live, work, shop and interact with their neighbors. The most sustainable neighborhoods tend to exhibit high levels of walkability a sense of place, social cohesion and stability and neighborhood resiliency amidst changing economic and socio-political conditions. The aim of Smart Sustainable Neighborhood is to study the application of Smart Sustainable Neighborhood design in housing development. The objective is to study the workability and connectivity in Smart Sustainable Neighborhood area to study the application of smart sustainable neighborhood concept in neighborhood area, to identify the provision of public open space in neighborhood area, to identify the availability of smart network in neighborhood area, to identify the provision of smart infrastructure in neighborhood area. Principle of smart sustainable neighborhood Principle 1. Housing Encouraging housing choice such multi-generational housing, extended family housing, Residential suits, very small apartments, backyard cottage, accessory dwelling units, senior housing and smaller housing will be necessary to accommodate people's needs and desires. Principle 2. Commercial. Each neighborhood have a strong culture, recreational and short facilities and the workable, vibrant, sociable neighborhood. Principle 3. Public facilities. Provide a workability in one of the main factor to encourage people into the public space, decline congestion and improvement local economy and connections. Principle 4. Infrastructure and utility. The utilities are provided on the needs based on the residential population. Principle 5. Road. Recommended that sustainable neighborhood design should enhance empath road lands walkways which are the main corridors through which most of the community activities go through. Principle 6. Open space. Each neighborhood need a better connection between human and natural environments which is a central challenge of sustainable development. Neighborhood planning should seek a create a variety of open space and natural areas, creating a range of attractive open space needs to become a much more integral part of neighborhood planning. This is my plan for smart sustainable neighborhood. There I have medium cost terrace house, two sewage treatment plant, affordable house, two surau, one kindergarten, semi detached house, low cost terrace house, two playground, 21 shop house, one water tank, detached house, one community hall, green area, Six lot playground and eight electric substation. There are two types of road for main road, sixty six feet for front seat housing, forty 
feet. Water tanks are usually located in high area and STP are usually located in flat area. Focal point is located between the surau, community hall and playground. In this picture are the example of smart sustainable neighborhood. The example of infrastructure and utility like electric substation. The example of open space like log playground. The example of commercial like shop house. The example of housing like semi-detached house. The example of public facilities like community hall. Matrix table. Now we are going to compare alternative 1 and 2. There are a ranking or value arrangement such as very good, no ranking 5, good, no ranking 4, moderate, no ranking 3, poor, no ranking 2, very poor, no ranking 1. The comparison is about providing low density residential neighborhood, promoting good social interaction through residential layout design, providing good accessibility, providing safe road circulation, creating a good, green, and tranquil environment. The total score value for alternative 1 is 33 and alternative 2, 32. So, in my opinion, alternative 1 is likely better than alternative 2. Conclusion In conclusion, green neighborhood or alternative 1 are the best concept to develop at the site area because this concept will make site area to be more protection and use of natural resource, application of green technology, green and recycling practice, which aim to preserve the environment, improving public health, safety and general welfare of the inhabitants. So, I have reached the end of my presentation. Thank you for listening and that's all for me. Thank you.